Can you describe your thesis in two minutes? The air we breathe is packed full of invisible chemicals that carry a huge amount of useful information. A sensitive enough artificial nose could decipher this information, making possible the ability to tell if someone has lung cancer simply by sniffing their breath, detecting explosives in an airport, or just telling if vegetables in a supermarket are fresh. Microelectromechanical sensors are a new class of device which have been shown to be sensitive enough to do all these things. The way in which they work is like this. You make a suspended mechanical beam, clamped at one end. You then coat it with a substance which sticks to the specific chemical you want to sense. If you hit this beam, it will start vibrating at a speed that is called its natural frequency. If the chemicals that you are trying to sense then stick to the beam, that speed will change. And if you are able to detect that change, you have an incredibly sensitive device. The problem is that these beams need to be tiny, typically one tenth of a millimetre long, and the frequency that they vibrate at is over 20,000 times a second. Humans are just too big and slow to see them, so we need to find a way to see what these sensors are doing. To explain how my PhD solves this problem, I'd quickly like to talk to you about the optical properties of the wings of the green hair streak butterfly. The shimmering colours of these wings are not created by pigments, but rather by nanostructured shapes which create an effect called diffraction, where different colours of light are bent in different directions. If nature can do it, then so can we. By fabricating a similar nanostructure underneath our beam and aiming a laser through it, the amount of light that reaches the other side will depend on the height of the mechanical beam. And so by bringing all these things together, we can build such a device to check if groceries are fresh, to remotely pick up explosives in an airport, or to test for lung cancer without needing a biopsy.